Now, like I say, when you get ready for the grommets, you have to figure out how many you want to use because that first banner had 16 on it and they only have 20 left and they told me they only wanted this banner with four. So we're, we're just going to go around the corner at the edges. I'm going to eyeball each corner here. I'm not even going to measure these. Okay, th this banner is going to be hung up slightly a different way than this other banner. This particular banner, when all the grommets are in, you're going to have a screw here, one here, one here. And incidentally, when you put this in, don't just use screws with, with a, a big flat head on there. You want to also use a washer. Okay? All right. Ready for the next step. Well, here's my next step. I've got a piece of plywood. You don't need a piece of plywood. You can have like a 2x4 or 2x6, something with wood. And I'm glad I had this. This was the only thing we had in the garage. And I'm doing this in the garage because I'm going to have to have a, a flat surface here in a second. So you don't want to do this inside your house or anything. Or the okay. office. Now I have, I have the little tool here. You see, you see the tool here? It's got a really sharp edge on that. Here, here we are. Okay, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to put the, the plywood underneath here. I'm just going to do a few holes here. You got this camera woman? I do. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball right over that. I'm going to tap on that and that's going to cut. Oh, See there? That's pretty neat. It cuts the plastic. Nice. Or it cuts the not plastic, a vinyl banner. Okay, so now I'm just going to eyeball the center of that. And if I'm off slightly, that's, that's all right. We're not building a piano here or anything. <laughs> this, is, this is rough construction 101. All right. I probably didn't have to measure anything. I could have, actually, I could have put just one mark and then I could have just eyeballed this. Okay. So. I guess I don't have to take this vinyl off every single time. Hey, tap, tap, tap. You're making your own banner, or if you have, let's say if you have a plastic tarp, and sometimes they don't come with grommets. Dad, you nab it. And when they don't, you can buy your own little grommets and put these in. Okay? For camping or whatever you're doing. Set. Okay, I'm just going to slide this down. Is there anything so hard that you can see so far that you can't do, just like Joe here? Anna, I'm asking. Well, I have a question for you. Have you done this before? <laughs> have I done this before? No. Really? I have not ever done this. And th here's a tip for you. When you get the little grommets at the store, make sure you read the directions. I read the directions, didn't I? Oh, that's if true. you don't read the direction, you think you know what you're doing, something is going to go haywire and you're going to mess up. They had 24 grommets before and for some reason they pounded on it and pounded on it <laughs> and they screwed up four of the little grommets because they didn't work on a flat surface, on a concrete surface. And you'll see that in a minute. What I'm going to do next, and yes, you want, to, you want an old piece of plywood or 2x6, whatever. Okay, don't use something, a pre-finished piece of scram, because you're going to, we're leaving little indentations in here with this cutter. This is kind of nice. You can save this and put it in your toolbox when you get done. I always say, I'm not going to show you something that I don't think you can't do. That includes installing grommets. Ooh, look at that. No mark. And I eyeballed it. And I can get within a sixteenth either way of 
eyeballing it, and that's fine. Okay? That's your next step. Go for it.